everybody, and welcome back to Acute. I'm Marshall. And I'm Jet. And for the first thing we'll be talking about today is our CU at Night event on March 20th. This year we're doing a ninja tournament, and we need your help. We need you for the Animu Club Army. Those who are not going to KitsuriCon this year should help our club by going to the event and giving Phil a hand. Yeah! WWE Tag Team! John Cena! Do, 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 lost do. the title again. <laughs> If you are willing to help, please let Phil know as soon as possible, or really any exact member, uh, just so that we know what responsibilities we'll be able to be doling out and who is all willing to help out in terms of the number of people. We're counting on you, brother. Brother. <laughs> our next order of business is our volunteer event. Uh, while we don't really have any details on it so far, hopefully that'll be changing soon. Uh, by Tuesday, we do know at least that we are doing the Trail Breaker Marathon. This will likely have similar responsibilities as a Brian's run. See? So the jobs will likely be you standing in a designated position and cheering for runners, and because of the marathon, manning the water table will also be a priority. Now, unless you are exempting yourself from the roster by yesterday, uh, volunteering is required at this point. And unless you have an exception accepted by the exec board, such as a project you have to do that day, or others you may ask about, you should be able to volunteer as it is exactly one month away. So because of that, this time we're not really going to be looking at I have to work that day as an excuse because by now you should be asking off for that day because usually at least a month ahead, you should be fine in terms of on your job, your, your scheduler's good or bad side. And however, we also want to point out why you want to volunteer. Right. It is always good to help out the club, and more importantly, the community. You know who it is to help the runners on the street. Also, many careers do kind of require uh, volunteering as part of the setup, and really it's kind of just a good part to add on uh, with your, your education at the school here. Uh, and the other, and really, sorry to be the bearer of uh, bad news here and the slight truth, which is that you're not guaranteed a job right out of uh, graduation, and this and having this on your resume is going to be much better compared to a lot of other people. However, if you volunteer, there's also a multitude of other benefits, such as having the harem you always wanted, having senpai notice you, being moe, having puppies love you, having kittens love you, having all the chocolate in the world. Smelling like strawberries every day. That should be kind of good. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. And more importantly, you will live forever. And maybe you'll be Ryan Gosling. That too. <laughs> you know what this shirt is made out of? What? Boyfriend material. <laughs> News! <laughs> <laughs> So our first news story for today is if you want, when you get, when especially because it's coming around the same time, when you get Project Mirai DX like I am, because it's got Gumi in it, who's the best Vocaloid of them all. And because he has money, and I don't. The Gumi overload. Oh, I have my Gumi glasses that I have worn in other episodes. The waifu, sorry, Eddie. And all the, and all the, uh, and all, and my gameplay videos, which you can subscribe to today, free plugin. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> if you want... To, if you're carrying around your 3DS and it's like, you know, you're worried about dropping it, you gotta get a case. But there's all the cases out there are boring. What you want is one that's Miku's head. And which is coming out soon enough. On May 28th, 2015, for only about $39 or so, you as yourself can get a disembodied Miku head as your 3DS case. My dream come true. But our next news story. Do you like Corpse Party? I love Corpse Party. Well, I guess love what? Yes. <laughs> they're making a movie. They're making a movie. Ah! <laughs> so, uh, you want uh, you want to rattle off kind of what the basis of Course Party is? All right, Course Party is a very intense horror game made for the PSP originally in Japan that involves a group of seven children and a teacher who enact this curse of such and fall into this alternate version of their school. It's uh no, it's had a lot of. Like a high, like high ratings on the internet. Like if you talk bad about Corpse Party around uh, around enough weebs, you're probably gonna get your head chopped off, which is probably part of the game anyway. So it may just be normal. Uh, but you, if you want to avoid that, you probably shouldn't trash talk it on the internet. But it, supposedly it is it's highly rated amongst people who aren't insane. Sure. And 
the reason that we're bringing you this as part of the movie not is to just not just because of, as much as uh, Jet Hero loves it, but also because someone from AKP48 is going to be in it. So, Mr. Becker, if you're watching this, probably not. You better watch this movie because one of your favorite girls is going to be in there. What's your name? The AKB48 member who's going to be in it is Rina Okoma. Yeah, Ikoma, sorry. Uh, but there is no confirmed role that she is playing. So we know she's going to be in the movie, but we don't know what she's going to play. Luckily, though, that all that stuff will be released later. But we got some celebrity, uh, uh, celebrity, whatever the word is. Celebrity uh, participation? Yeah. Okay. We, have, we, have, we have some celebrity roles going in. Kind of more what I was looking for. Yeah. So the, we'll see how we'll be able to see how well this uh, movie was. Uh, um, it's it's going to be kind of in a list. It, this really will kind of though be probably categorized in that long list of video game movies. But in terms of horror movies, Japan's pretty good at making those. So I got a lot of faith for this movie. And also knowing Course Party as I do, and as you might not know, the movie will be. Very, very interesting, just to see how they pull up all the horrors from the original game onto the big screen. In other news, Carapina recently did a poll on the coolest ladies in anime, with um, 50% of them, or about 50% of them were females, and about 74% of them were under the age of 20. So, a good representation of the people who watch anime. If you want to see what the list was from 20 to 11, you can look at the article in the description below. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna rattle off the top 10 list, and the ones that we recognize are probably ones we'll stick on for a little bit. But we'll probably blaze through this list a little quickly here. So let's just uh, get right into it. So yeah, let's blaze. Number 10, Psycho Passes Akane Tsunamori. I mean, I know your sister watches Psycho Pass. Oh, yeah. She... Uh, I don't know how much you know about it. I watched both seasons completely through it. I'm waiting for the movie. She... And then uh, number nine is uh, Black Lagoon's Levi. Levy. Levy. I don't Levy. know. I have, not, I have not seen it, so I don't really uh, really know. Right. Number eight, Gentama's Sukuyo. I mean, I don't really know what that is. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've never seen Gintama or whatever. Gintama's pretty good. Uh, I, I haven't seen it. But number seven is Misaka Mikado, who is the railgun, if you don't know, who is uh, one of my favorite characters in anime, so uh, that's that's super cool that she's on the list. Number six, Fairy Tales Elsa Scarlet. Number five is Ghost in the Shells, uh, Makoto Kusanagi. Motoko. Mo Motoko. <laughs> I can't, I'm not reading well, I don't have my glasses on, it's whatever. But yeah, like I said, I have uh, not seen uh, Ghost in the Shell, so I don't know too much about it. Alright. Number four, personal favorite of mine, Fate Stay Night, Saber. She's also on Fate Zero, but, well, I mean, Fate Zero is better than Fate Stay Night, the original, but the new one is pretty good, too. I was gonna say, did you watch the new one? Yes, I did. Okay. It, it, uh, it was incredible. I, was, I do know that everybody hated the original Fate Stay Night, as far as I know. No. Um, so, mostly the ending, though, to be fair. Which again, I haven't seen it, so I don't, I don't, I can't judge. Oh, but yeah. I've heard some bad things about it. Number three, one of the most important people on this list yes. is Jurarara's Selty Strelson. Can't uh, go wrong with the Black Rider. Nope. Which, when you know what? When you got no head, sometimes it's a little nice to. It's I don't know. I'm not making. I, I don't even know what joke I'm trying to make here. But what is cool is the fact that she's got the little cat ears on her helmet. That's freaking awesome. Also, she can make a scythe that doesn't actually kill anyone. Just kind of knocks him out. Right. Also, she can make a giant hand glider for some odd reason. That's a season two reference. Not really a spoiler at all, so you're fine. No. no. Uh, <laughs> it's like in a trailer. You'll be fine. All right. Number two is a Sword Art Online's Asuna Yuki. Man, it's like we've just said Asuna so many times. Like, I don't really act. I actually didn't remember her last name either. I but yeah, Asuna, mm -hmm. who interestingly in this article, they have her placed in her make, like, her like secondary model for the fairy the fairy game that I can never remember the name of. They didn't go with the iconic Sword Art Online look, which kind of weirded me out. But they also have some of the pictures are also relatively questionable on here anyway. Number one, the best girl, the best waifu according to this <laughs> to this poll. Though I don't know if I'd ever want to call her. A, I don't know if I'd really call her a waifu. Who is Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan? Right. Well, really, it's the coolest girl, so that's that's given. It, Mikasa has has that. But also, also know that she can't be a wife because Mikasa is too Wow. 
Wow. Our final news story, probably one of our fa- favorites in terms of the actual like content in the article, yes. uh, which is uh, they recently had announced in somewhat of a teaser, I guess. It's a picture, so it's not really like a trailer or anything like that. But it's for what I'm assuming is going to be called Love Live Sunshine. Either that or it's just called Sunshine. But it's the follow-up to Love Live School Idol Project. I'm assuming the show, although possibly it could tie into the movie that's coming out soon, which probably would make the most sense to do. But the best part about it isn't the fact that it has been announced, though I'm pretty excited for, given that I've started to watch the show and in the set, middle of the second season, it's pretty great. Right. But the best part is that the internet being the internet, they took this picture and they kind of had some fun with it. I, though, yes, the internet being what it is, as you can see here, it's pretty blank. Uh, so that takes a lot of people to be like, let's put that into Photoshop. And so here we're going to kind of note, like note some of our favorites for them. A good one that we have is, uh, I don't know really who it is, but some, some I'm guessing kind of like probably some celebrity in Japan standing next to her. Some a very attractive guy. The next one has the heroine from Bakemono Katari. I completely forgot her name, even though I watched the whole season. I mean, hey. Right. She's just being along, having no flex. Uh, I like this one a lot, which is the uh, something that's kind of one out of a Sentai Ranger, uh, but on the beach, <laughs> looking relatively upset. He's having a nice And here, speaking of Attack on Titan, back to, back to you, Mikasa, we have the lovely Colossal Titan just peeking over the horizon. You know, like, I like hey, how he's kind of got like his hand on the water, as if he's just like got it over the surface. I mean, really, the, the Earth is round, but it, clearly he is on, outside of the Earth, <laughs> grabbing it. He's just saying hi. Uh, I like this one a lot. It's got the girl, uh, who the, the mystery girl on uh, a Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, Gundam. She's, she's getting ready to. She's getting ready for war here. It's a Gundam. <laughs> and here we have a bunch of characters running away from something. <laughs> and there is Honoka in the beginning, in, in the <laughs> middle, pointing to her. So, which leads, which is also what leads me to believe that it's not Honoka in the middle. But shout out to the to Evangelion Unit One in the background. Uh, yeah, and back to that girl from Baki Monogatari. Yeah. Uh, and don't forget to uh, buy buy the Love Live music on iTunes if you can. All with all the iTunes cards that they show you in this one. And then I don't even know what's happening in this one. It's obviously a Japanese boys band. Yeah, I mean they're creating a, ba- a band. Don't let me tell you. Right. That's a lemur. That is a or a sloth. I think it's a sloth. Either way. Yeah, that's a sloth. This is the internet. It's a sloth. It's a sloth. Uh, this one's one of my favorites, which is the... Uh, it's uh, Luigi. The... <laughs> Mario. Super Mario. Super Mario Sunshine. Yahoo! It's me, Mario. Mario School Idol Project. It's, I can only imagine what kind of game that would be. But all of the Mario characters, we got... It would be great. No, the way it would work, it would be great. Get Mario, Peach, Luigi, Daisy... Them, they, they could just be maybe like a four-person idol group. Maybe they can have a fifth person with Rosalina. Oh man, uh, it's frisky, huh? But then have like, and then like, but then they have a, the rival idol group: Wario, Waluigi, Bowser, Bowser Junior. Oh, uh, or Kid Bowser if it's Super Mario Sunshine. Or his eight uh, ones. <laughs> yeah, Ludwig. <laughs> you always gotta have Ludwig. Beethoven. <laughs> and, then, and then they they have their idol competition. That would be that would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Then we have this one. Shout out to Pokemon. Marsh top instead of the girl. <laughs> Though I like this one with the girl is just in the middle, very upset distinctly. Maybe she maybe she's not a Love Life fan. She's like fuck. They're coming out with another one. <laughs> I think she's an Idol Master fan. Maybe. <laughs> like, Idol Master is better for the win. <laughs> Back, the Pacific Rim bot coming out of the ocean. <laughs> we have some some bad accidents going on here. Destruction Derby. Yep. Uh, <laughs> this one makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> Her in the water. So she's dead, right? <laughs> so she's, well, she either is. She, I think she's dying or she's drowning. I don't know. I don't know how well she could swim, just maintaining that pose in the water. Then we have my personal favorite, which is the Final Fantasy 15 car guys passing by this girl on the beach, going like, "What the fuck is she doing? I, uh, nice what shit. is she doing? This person is crazy." If I may quote a fantastic film, "Get in the car, bitch. We're going shopping." <laughs> oh, that's Hanayo at the Hi. beach, <laughs> probably freaking out because. Well, she's freaking out. Obviously, more idols are coming. Exactly. It's going to be fantastic. Well, if anybody who knows Hanayo, she loves her idols. Mm-hmm. She goes crazy for them idols. This one. <laughs> this is you probably personal. recognize this one from the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. This is my personal favorite. 
It was just a nice, uh, nice, lovely day. This one is probably slightly, uh, slightly, uh, uh, let's, what is it, inappropriate? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's it is the nuclear bomb testing picture, however, but probably not too big fans. And then uh, a really good one, though, to finish it off, which is the uh, the Google Street View version of the of this. Uh. However, I'm a little upset they didn't actually like. This is just a person who clearly took a screenshot and then like cut it out in paint. But like they should have uh, pasted the. They should have like took it to Photoshop and got the the logo and put it on there. <laughs> but schematics, it's it's, uh. it's whatever. All right, so that'll do it for this episode of Acute this week. We will see you next week. Yes. Uh, for more anime news and updating and things. 